Hi boys and girls, it's Pharmacist Mark again and I'm bringing you my quick tips with how to use an EpiPen. You've probably told many customers the basics they need to know but there's probably one thing you've never told them so stay tuned and listen up. So we've all been taught how to counsel the use of an EpiPen but no one's probably actually seen it in action. So I thought I'd uh, get a discarded expired EpiPen, uh, fire it into this bottle and you'll see just how deep it goes and just how much comes out. So we all know to activate the EpiPen you have to remove it from its protective case, take off the blue uh, safety release and now this is a live EpiPen, so to activate it you push the orange end into the limb, uh, preferably the thigh they say, and hold it for three seconds for the adrenaline to move into the body. Um, there's a bit of a misconception that if they're wearing clothing you have to push harder like a Pulp Fiction to the heart sort of jab, you don't need to do that at all. Uh, the pressure is the same no matter what clothing they're using uh, because the pressure is actually just to activate the spring mechanism inside here, that spring will still fire at the same speed uh, no matter what clothing they're using and that needle will go through jeans or even probably a thin uh, a leather jacket but if pre preferably straight into the thigh through some uh, thin clothing is the best. Uh, so let me inject it into here and I'll show you just how deep it goes and how much comes out. And that's how much liquid is actually injected in, so there's not that much at all. So I've just held the uh, safety protector back so you can see the length of the needle. It's uh, about two, two and a half centimeters, which uh, is designed to get all the way into the muscle. Um, which brings me to my counseling point. The one thing I tell all my patients is, especially if they're administering it to a child, is probably a good idea to apply weight to the limb so they hold it down while they're administering the injection because uh, especially with children they can have a knee-jerk reaction where they move and the two centimeter needle inside the skin will cause damage uh, if they react to the needle uh, so holding them down or holding the limb down uh, is a good idea so I hope you learned something today uh, I'm enjoying making these videos. Uh, if you want to see more interesting videos, subscribe and uh, I'll be bringing you what I've learned after I left pharmacy school. If you've got anything you want to hear about, leave a comment or if you've got a tip that you want to share, let me know and I'll have a chat about it. Uh, I'll see you all next time.